<laughs> Hi, you guys. <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been so long. I don't even know where to begin. We had like a Christmas white elephant party combined this weekend with like my friends from my gym and all that. So I need to get an ugly Christmas sweater. So I'm gonna go to like a thrift store and see if they have anything for Matt and I. Just pick something up um, and I will let you know what I find. Like my mom just visited. That was fun. We went wedding dress shopping. I fell in absolute love love with a dress but it's so expensive like I don't know I had such a hard time again spending money on like that kind of thing like I'm gonna wear it once but I'm obsessed with it. it's all I can think about no other dresses compared but it's insanely expensive like I don't know what to do like if it was within my budget I would have bought it a hundred percent in a heartbeat but it really wasn't and I don't know I don't know what to do. First of all, problems. It's just, I literally, I, I feel like I just don't have the confidence in myself to make decisions right now. And for the past few months, I felt like this and I felt a little lost and just like overwhelmed with so many things going on. I feel just lost. Like, I don't know. That's, I guess the best way I can describe it. It sucks. So, I'm hoping with the new year, I know you don't have to like wait for a new year for change and all that. I'm just gonna, I'm hoping it just turns a leaf for me and like I just, I start planning things better and I just get shit done. But there's just so many things happening in my family and like personal life, which I know everyone has things going through. Everyone's going through stuff and I 100% agree and that's why I don't really talk about that kind of stuff on here. But it does affect people and you know, the holidays are always just hard when like you have family stuff going on. And you're away from your family. So I'm like, I have like I have so many good things going. Like, why can't I just like suck it up and do it? But like I need to take care of my mental health a little bit more. I know everyone says that. And yeah, that's basically where I'm at. <laughs> ah! Okay, so I'm gonna go. Um, I just I strolled, so next I go in with a toner. This is my Clear Essentials, the hydration toner. So if you guys ever want to use any of these products that I'm using, uh, I will leave the Houston Acne Specialist like phone number down below. You can contact them or DM them on Instagram. And if you're not local, if you're local, obviously go in. They're literally amazing and obviously in person is ideal, but they will still talk you through everything on the phone. Like they're so knowledgeable, so it's definitely worth a call. If you go in person, if you call them, mention my name, they will give you a discount. Um, they genuinely just want to like help people. So they're amazing. Um, I can't say enough good things about them. Like they literally do, so, they give you so much knowledge. And like this is my step-by-step -step morning night routine. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. And they're so nice. But yeah, I definitely mentioned that I, that you heard about them through me because they will give you a little discount not being paid to say anything for them. This is just genuinely like, you guys know, I've been going through this journey and I'm obviously, a lot of you guys have been going along with me, so. It's hard because obviously your face like purges before good things happen, which is hard, but you know. My face is awesome though right now. Even though I have like breakouts, new breakouts and like still redness i can totally tell that the treatments are working and that like things are happening which is so exciting so this is my moisturizer i just did a hyaluronic acid before this in the morning i moisturize or i wash my face ice roll tone uh, I do like an, a hyaluronic acid, then I, had some, I do every other day an L complex, which I don't really know what that is, but it's one of their products. And then I do uh, moisturizer. And then sunscreen, of course. They have the best sunscreen too. So, yeah. This was a long rant. Not a rant, but just like a catch up. 
sometimes like when you're going through stuff the last thing you want to do is pick up a camera and talk about your feelings me hi this has been fun all right so i'm currently wearing just an um amazon top it's like little lemon look alike whatever um these are actually airy offline leggings i can link what i can i have my new balances i'm obsessed with these i got them at academy like the outdoor store on clearance but they're like a beautiful like beige nude putting those on and then it's a little chilly so i'm gonna wear my forever 21 blazer which this is a way to like dress down a blazer or more casual but it's like it's i live in texas so i gotta just roll up the sleeves this blazer is amazing literally forever 21 i think it's I, like 20 bucks i don't even remember i got it on sale i love forever 21 i've been shopping there for years um let me put some jewelry on all right so this is the fit like just very casual way to dress up or dress down a blazer i'm gonna put some gold earrings and necklace on but oh this is the bag i'm using this is the i i started using vivrel vivrel sorry my mirror is also disgusting vivrel it's like a luxury designer handbag like rental system so it's more sustainable also um and this is like a balenciaga bag this bag like retails i think for like two thousand dollars but if you have a vivrel monthly membership you get one bag per month. I mean, there's also an option where you can get like two bags a month. They also do jewelry that you rent like Chanel jewelry for 30 bucks, $39 a month. It's crazy. I love it. It's more sustainable, but also it is just great for like people who aren't decisive like me. I want to stay up on the trends, but like I know this bag probably isn't going to age well. Like it's very trendy to me, at least. I don't, these like tiny bags, whatever. So it's a good way to kind of participate in the trends without spending a lot of money. That's in my mind. Um, but yeah, so I have that. And this is it. This is also a great way to like make a very inexpensive outfit look more expensive is like having a nice bag. Um, like this is Forever 21, this is Amazon. These were like 30 bucks. And then I got my shoes on clearance. But like a, a nice bag kind of like ties it all together. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Here's the final look for the day. My little bag, the outfit, and the shoes. Oh, you can see all the gifts my mom got Matt and I back here. And then some Topo Chico. But yeah, just did my hair up in like a little half clip. Some of these front pieces down. I think it's cute. Hopefully I can get a little pick to post on my Instagram because I've been trying to be a little more active there. Yeah, let's go. All right, you guys, I did some damage, okay? I, um, I went to a designer thrift store. Okay, I got five items for under $150. I'll show you all of them. First item, is okay so obviously i live in texas right so it's really hard to wear let me go back over here a little more let me move you sorry bubs herman's eating in the background if you hear that so enjoy those those lovely sounds okay <clears throat> no now i'm going against the light let me go over here wow yeah you can see the beauty now okay so this gorgeous chocolate brown fur vest so since i'll try on since i live in houston so vests are really in right now like oversized puffer vests and all that so i thought this was a cute play can you really see i don't know it's hard to tell in the viewfinder it's a fun play on the oversized vest look i i think fur just like screams holidays also all this is thrifted so it's um you know more sustainable and that i also am trying to go that way when it's more affordable um so thrifting is a way that's more affordable for me to do it versus like sometimes shopping at more sustainable places are a little 
More expensive, yada yada. I'm trying, I'm really trying. So I got this, it has pockets. I thought this just screams holiday. I think it's so cute with just like an all black or all white outfit underneath. A little off the shoulders, the high neck, like this is just so luxurious. I had to get it. This was the most expensive thing I got. I think it was like $50, or a little less. I can't remember exactly, but obsessed. Let me show you the next thing I'm obsessed with. This chocolate brown quilted Sherpa bag. How gorgeous, heavy, heavy duty gold chain. But you guys, it's reversible. So on the other side, it's this chocolate brown suede with the Sherpa 3D quilting. Oh my god, this looks so expensive. I forgot the name of the designer. This was $12. This was $12, okay? Like, I'm sorry. It is so cute. Perfect, just everyday bag. Chocolate brown again, and I mean, I'm obsessed with it. I can't speak high enough. Like, I'm gonna use this all the time. It is the perfect length, perfect size shoulder bag just for throwing on and running out the door. It'll go with so many things, and I love that it's reversible. I love both sides. Here's the other side, and it's reversed. How freaking cute. Oh my god, it reminds me of like Bottega, how they have those quilted, um, what is it, like a work bag kind of? It's just so stunning. I am, I clearly I'm very obsessed. <laughs> This was $12. Like, look, chocolate brown. Oh, I'm just, ugh. Okay, then I am in such a blazer. I'm in such like a blazer mood right now. Like I'm obsessed with blazers. Number one, because I live in Texas, so like I said with the vest, the fur vest, it's hard to wear like full on jackets. But this color. Let me show you. And this jacket, I mean, come on. It is like perfectly oversized, so qual good quality. It's what, like, it comes off with more blue, green, but it's like a true muted green, like sage green kind of. So cute for just throwing on, kind of dressing up like a casual outfit. I might trim the shoulder pads on just a little bit. I'm not sure, let me know what you guys think, but I mean, this is amazing. 20 bucks. Just a gorgeous like cherry red, and I just think that is so fun. Holidays or like Houston Rockets games, and then surprise, surprise. I got this, where, how can you see better? The light, chocolate brown blazer. Again, same idea. So, so freaking cute. This one was $9. Hello you guys, I'm cooking dinner and we're making a Green Chef meal. You guys know I love Green Chef. Thank you to Green Chef for working with us on this portion of the video. It is a meal delivery service with certified organic ingredients delivered right to your door. Um, the one we are making tonight, chimichurri chicken bowls, like hello. Foolproof, all of the pictures right here. You can't go wrong. Uh, in the oven right now, I have a ton of veggies, butternut squash, red bell pepper, and cabbage going. I'm gonna do the cauliflower rice and the chicken. Uh, I do the paleo boxes, uh, which are also gluten free if you're wondering, but they have so many different options, like keto, vegan, paleo, uh, balanced living, so many options that you can choose from. You can also switch between different meal plans from month to month, so that's awesome. You're not like set in on like one certain box. I'm about to cook the cauliflower rice. We get the four serving one because or we cook once, eat twice, so we eat it for dinner, and then I'll eat, we'll eat it for lunch tomorrow as well. So right now, um, I just tossed those veggies in olive oil and salt and pepper. Right now I have a dry pan. I'm gonna pop in the pepitas and dry roast those really quick. Then I'm gonna put some oil in the pan, cook up my cauliflower rice, season it well. It comes with all the necessary ingredients that you need has this Cuban spice blend right here, and then this creamy chimichurri avocado mayo. Are you kidding me? So good. If you guys wanna try out Green Chef, I will have my code right on the screen here. I think this is something that's great for date night or just getting new ideas. Go to greenchef.us and use code BlairY10 to get 10 free meals 
plus free shipping on your first box. So, <clears throat> oh my God. Wow. I love squash. Squash, squash, squash. I love squash. Here's the final product. Look how good this looks, you guys. Ton of volume food right here. All paleo, all delicious. Wow, I'm so excited to eat this. Matt's coming home from golf right now. Wait. Um, I'm gonna eat the pretty one. Okay, taste test. Get a little bit of everything, a little chicken. This is so good. Not saying I am paleo or gluten free, but like I always say, it's nice to just get ideas and get out of your comfort zone. Like we cook all the time, but if you cook, you know it gets redundant. Like it's nice to just try something new. Mm. All right, back to the scheduled video. You guys, I've already done a ton today. But I've been so crazy running, 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 running that I forgot to film. I'm currently in the Aldi parking lot right now. Uh, let me take you through my day. So I woke up. Ah! I woke up. I tried on clothes. So it's a Saturday. I'm all over the place. I woke up. I tried on outfits that I could potentially wear tonight to a holiday party. Okay. Figured that out. Then I edited a video and got my nails done. I just got some red simple for the holidays and they took an hour only how crazy is that it was dip with tips i get dipped with tips and then a rounded almond shape and this color is big red apple it, like opi big candy apple or big red apple whatever that red is dip and it took an hour like amazing because i'm in such a rush of course i'm filming now I'm at Aldi and for the holiday party tonight, they want to make, they want me to make a charcuterie board for 150 people. There's so many people around me. 150 people with $200. So Aldi it is. Um, my friend helped me out and got a lot of stuff from Costco already. Bulk, bigger bulk items. So I'm happy about that. But I'm here to spend another $100 on just different filler cheeses and fruit and sides nuts all that so that's where we're at <clears throat> and i just want to update you guys oh and then this is why i'm stressing so it's what what time is it now it's 10 50 10 50 right now and we have our friend's housewarming party at 1 p.m so as you can imagine i'm running around like a crazy person didn't get to work out today which is fine um have to get the stuff from Aldi, rush home, put it all away, prep whatever I can, like wash the grapes, um, cut whatever. I'm gonna like do the brie with the, um, if you haven't seen my TikTok. I made a TikTok with all my Aldi favorites for charcuterie boards. It actually kind of went viral, like semi-viral for me at least. I think it had like 400,000 views or something, whatever. People seem to really like it. And then I posted the final result of a different charcuterie board that I did for a different holiday party. And, um, I use like cookie cutters and the cheeses and it's like really cute. So I'm doing all that again. So if you wanna see that, make sure to head to my TikTok to check it out. But um, I hold it all over there. So I'm gonna prep what I can, then head to this uh, housewarming party at one. Then have to leave that a little early because my holiday party's at six, but obviously I have to come home, change, put on like a dress or a nice outfit. And I think I'm, I think I figured out what I want to wear. I have this like amazing oversized fur vest from a designer thrift store. So I, did, I thrifted it. It's faux fur, but it's actually pretty chilly in Houston, which is, chilly for Houston is like 60s. What is it right now? 59 degrees. So I can wear that. It's a vest, so it doesn't have sleeves. And then I have a long sleeve, like turtleneck bodysuit with a little skirt. And then my Gucci tights and high, knee high black boots pretty cute fit if I'm gonna try to get a picture to post on Instagram we'll see as you can see I am all over the place right now and I'm so sorry I'm so scatterbrained but I need to get going so I'm heading to Aldi we're right here 
medium. Let's do it. I need to get a quarter first. Got my quarter and my reusable bags, and let's go. Okay, I just got back from Aldi, and I have this huge bag full of stuff. Total was $66, so let me show you what I got. Just keep in mind, my friend already bought a bunch of cheese at Costco, like the cranberry covered goat cheese, the big brie, um, just like other cheeses, and then all the meats, like prosciutto, all the salamis, whatever. So this is just other stuff on top of that. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so here's everything I got. Again, $66 for all of this. I got some of these Parmesan crisp pita chips and crackers, six assorted crackers. She also has like two or three boxes of wheat thins and then some other crackers as well. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six different cheeses. Again, she has a bunch, but roasted garlic with tomato basil. This just looked really good. This port salute, I've had this before. It's delicious, it's like a soft cheese. This is their version of unexpected cheddar from Trader Joe's. Delicious. If you, oh no. It's not. Dang it! I didn't even notice. It looks the exact same. Wow. Gosh dang it, Blair. Whatever. They have a version of unexpected cheddar. It's called like not your typical cheddar. It's basically with Parmesan. It's really good. This is probably really good too. Whatever. Anyway, can't be upset about it. It is what it is, cranberry and white cheese, so I, um, this red, red kind of theme. Havarti dill, um, yeah, kind of like greenish. Two dips, this is really good, this cauliflower buffalo style dip. Roasted pine nut hummus, strawberry preserves, Marcona almonds, rosemary flavored. Then for some holiday spirit, these covered Oreos, peppermint, chocolate, no, fudge covered peppermint Oreos are really good. These peppermint white chocolate pretzel stars are also really good, two bags of those. Then I just got some red and green stuff, so two bags of green grapes, some cucumbers to slice, again, for the hummus and both these dips, along with carrots. These cosmic apples were on sale and they're red, so I got that, and then some of these bell peppers also to dip into the dip. So our, this holiday party is for my gym. So I wanted to make sure I had uh, some veggie and fruit represented. But again, all this was 66 bucks and my friend has majority of the cheese and all that. I'm so angry about this. Can you tell my mood just went so down? Oh, I was in a hurry. Today's been crazy. Okay, well, this should be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then how many cheeses does she have? All right, and this is what my friend has. So there's a big thing of that Syrah, like Cabernet cheese. It's really good. A huge brie, three things of Borzen, two huge things of regular goat cheese, and then one thing, of, a huge thing of the cranberry covered goat cheese. So total we have 14 cheeses. So I think we'll be good. Our budget was to stay under 200. And this is what... We have, and I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, I have to get ready for our friend's housewarming party now because we are leaving at one o'clock. It's 11:30, and I still have to run across. I have to still have to run over to the gym to see the area that we're doing, and pick up the cheese so I can prep some of it. Crazy, crazy day, Herm. Crazy, crazy day. <sighs> crazy, crazy day. He's confused. Okay.